time to spend And sparrows run me blind Chasing rainbows dance its control across the line Put me back on solid ground feels so good Touchdown Time to touch down. <laughs> um, hi, how you all doing today? Um, Yep, uh, starting old school. That was a leftover from uh, this weekend. Uh, one of the one of the first one of the songs from my first years writing, for sure. One of the first songs I ever played for real human beings. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and a song inspired by being around good people for the time that we have together. A common theme for us gatherers these days and days before. <laughs> we have uh, we have a fun night uh, planned. Of course, it is Science Tuesday, which means we are going to be visited uh, by uh, our very own Karina Smith. Uh, very excited for that. That always makes me happy. And uh, she is, um, uh, when I talked to her uh, this morning, um, she gave me the topic of the question she was going to be asked. It's going to be uh, a, uh, uh, a question uh, having to do with the galaxy, which uh, I told her uh, this is good for me because I have uh, my, my brother with me who is a uh, really terrible uh, amateur astronomer, but I'm sure will be very loud and help me answer. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, maybe, just maybe, 
if all of us gatherers put our heads together, we, we may be able to uh, pull off an answer to Karina's uh, trivia question this, this week. Um, and yeah, you know what? I still got a whole bunch of awesome requests that uh, I just feel like continuing to play. Um, it's actually been nice these last couple weeks to just have so many good songs that you all chose. Um, we've had so many people coming through the gulch and family members and I mean it gets busy I mean it's a busy time even when you're being socially distanced and trying to be thoughtful and safe uh, it's still busy and it's so nice to have help <laughs> from all you gatherers uh, deciding the music that we share during the time that we have here so uh, here's another one, and for those of you that have been following my notes on guitar, right, uh, this is another, these first two songs are again in open tuning, so they're really fun. This one's called Chain.
Okay, then. Two old school requests to start us off. And that last song, Chain, containing a little bit of science in it as well. Appropriate for Science Tuesday. Well, I'm going to try something out before we call, uh, before we give Karina a call. I'm going to try a song that I've only shared once in my life with other human beings. That would be you gatherers. Uh, um, one night, and it was a song that I probably wrote, oh, I don't know, 15 16, 17 years ago. Like many of the songs that I've written over the years, it was one that I never, never uh, decided to, just kind of never made the cut. <laughs> but it's an interesting song. It's a song uh, about a person who is a shut-in. A person who, for one reason or another, can't bring himself to leave his apartment. I am sure as we think about this character and listen to this song, uh, <laughs> we know a lot, we all know a little bit about what this character is living through, at least within the song, because we've all had to be kind of shut-ins this year, haven't we? Uh, and there are all different reasons. I have a feeling that in this next chapter of humanity, we're gonna we're gonna learn about a whole lot more shut-ins. It's becoming easier and easier, right, for us to isolate ourselves, to never have to leave the house for groceries, for supplies, for clothes, for education, for work. Um, and I am sure. Uh, I am sure 2020 has, uh, will have sparked a lot of, a lot of people who maybe will never leave their homes moving forward. Who knows? Anyways, this one is called Awake in the Day, and, uh. It's got a lot of words in it. I've been trying to remember them for you uh, and practicing for you. Hopefully, I will get them all right. Salvation flickers on the screen Tells me what to buy and when to come and go Watch the actors live my dreams And vicarious existence all I know I could stake my claim Tear it limb <coughs> limb Play my voice to the din I know I'd find strength in the sun but I can't stay awake in the day could be the passion alone, but I can't stay awake in the day can't stay awake in the day hey Bad cats make the rules Professors, politicians, pundits never doubt The rest are foragers and fools Try to sell me stuff that I can't live without Oh, I know I'd find 
at last it's come to this Desperation from the wanderer of my mind Another season that I miss The world moves on and on Yet still I stay behind Sometimes I'll cast my gaze Down the boulevard This town's combusted Okay. I mean, it's a little. I, I'm. A, I appreciate the leftover. I appreciate the request. It's a little strange for me because, um, <laughs> I, uh, right. If I, there were first time gatherers with us every single night. People who don't know anything about me and my music, <laughs> uh, this community, and uh, it's always an interesting thing because when I play a, a song that is a sketch and not a finished a finished piece or not something that I feel like is some of my strongest writing, uh, uh, there's like a vanity thing inside of me that, it, you know, uh, uh, there's a part of me that would want to play our most, my my what I feel like are my strongest songs every night, and then there's another part of me that really wants to be challenged every night, and uh, that wants to share, even songs that maybe are not totally finished or totally ready to share with the public, or maybe never will be shared again after the gathering series is over. <laughs> Anyways. That latter voice always wins out. <laughs> Let's call Karina, huh? Let's see what she has to say for herself today. Um, now, Karina, I know you are watching. When we were doing our uh, when we were doing our New Year's Eve gathering, sometimes my call wasn't coming through, and I needed people to call actually to call me. But we're gonna try calling you, and we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> hey there. Hi. Ah, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Can you hear and see okay? Yep, you're clear. You look very, very festive and Christmassy today. I think it's the tree behind uh, you and the acorns and the hangings and your little red sweater and the Christmas lights. It's very nice. These are not acorns, for the record. They are pine cones. Pine cones. Sorry. <laughs> pine cones. <laughs> oh, man. Science. Science. <laughs> and that brings us to our next topic, science. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You're doing good? Uh, when I talked yeah, to you exactly. earlier on today, uh, you uh, hadn't decided what you were going to play for us today. I assume I know. you have a plan now. I have a plan. Yeah, I was down to the wire, though. You yeah. what? It was down to the wire. <laughs> that is very unlike you, by the way. Yes. <laughs> that is very unlike Karina. Gatherers, you should know this. It's like if there is something, if there was something to practice or work on, and we have a week to do it, day one. 
Karina's got it figured out, right? I mean, that's pretty accurate. I was like the kid in school who asked if I could turn in extra rough drafts before the paper was due. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yep. Yeah. Uh, my my favorite line in the van that you will hear me say uh, if you are with us on tour um, uh, is uh, nobody likes a teacher's pet, Karina. Nobody. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the teachers like the teachers' pet. We have a lot of teachers gathering with us. <laughs> Actually, uh, you all should know this, too. Cause, uh, I bet a lot of you gatherers don't know this. Karina is also a pretty wonderful teacher. And, uh, and before we stole her away to become this vagabond, fiddle-playing road warrior, uh, teaching was a big part of, uh, of what inspired you and what you did, right? Yep. Whenever I'm teaching, I miss performing. Whenever I'm performing, I miss teaching. I just need to figure out the whole cloning thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, will you tell, because I just think it's, I think knowing a little bit of, uh, uh, about, about each of the band members' histories in music is kind of cool. Will you tell uh, the gatherers a little bit about some of the different places you've taught and some of the things you were doing before joining joining the joining the group sure yeah um well my first teaching experience was i was still in middle school and i became my piano teacher's assistant which was really fun <laughs> really cute and probably i was terrible and dorky but uh i got into teaching pretty big time because of my own high school teacher bob phillips who was this like mega inspirational sort of pie piper of music in the town I grew up in. Um, so then I did major in music education in college. I taught in Singapore. I taught a group of high school students in Michigan that would go on annual tours and make albums. Mm. Uh, I taught a little bit in New Haven and then you guys snapped me up. You were on <laughs> such a good trajectory until we got you. <laughs> Um, all right, teacher, what are you going to teach us about today? <laughs> I, f I feel like you might get this one, and Art will almost certainly get this one. Um, oh. But I was, I was excited about a news article recently um, about a team of astronomers who just identified a new supercluster in our universe. Um, so tonight's question is, in terms of astronomy, what is a supercluster? And what do we know about ours? Hmm. What is a supercluster? And what do we know about our own personal supercluster? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if we all have a personal one. <laughs> we own one, yes. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, hold on a second. Before... Um, Art, the way we do this is she's going to play a song while the gatherers think deeply. Um, but do you have, do you know the answer? Yeah, super. Wait, cluster. wait, you can't say the answer. Let me answer. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, not yet, not yet. You got to wait until after the song because the gatherers have to see if they can figure it out first. Nobody likes a teacher's pet, Art. He is the worst. He is the worst. You are. <laughs> we haven't even started drinking port tonight yet. It's, it's just bad. Uh, will you play us a song? I would love to. Awesome. Um, I'm going to give you the I full gotta, screen. Okay. What are you playing for us? I got a song for you guys tonight. Woo. Um, this one is called Sweetwater Sea, and I just started working on it like two hours ago, so we'll see how it goes. I have a cheat sheet of lyrics down here. <laughs> Yeah. 
somewhere on a salty shore, all the letters from my heart were posted all in vain, for her father took them before they reached her side, and stole them all they were Awesome. I love that song. And it's a good it's a sad song disguised with a happy tune. Um, yep, we like those. Yeah. Very that is very sprig like. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Sad song disguised happy. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. Um <laughs> I love that. You've been playing a lot of banjo, haven't you? Yeah, it feels good. I like it. Sounds good. Sounds Aww. good. Um Yeah. <laughs> And uh, and I bet your daddy's happy that stayed in perfect tuning the entire time, or mostly uh, perfect tuning. Close. Yeah. 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 Close. It's a band. Probably close enough for Adam, not close enough for Doug. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, my uh, my teacher's pet brother wants to answer uh, answer your question. Gatherers seem to be uh, open to that uh, to that scenario. Uh, get get over here. I'm screwed. No, no, you can't do that. If you're gonna answer, you gotta own it. Get over here. A super close. Let you come on. Let's sit down in the hot seat. This is not. This is. <laughs> <brothers. laughs> a super cluster is when one or more people don't they wear. Can only see half your head. There is you when go. one or more people don't wear a mask to a large event. <laughs> right? Zing. Look at him. Look. He's here all weeks, folks. Um, do you know what a supercluster is? No, I have no idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. The moon rises in the east. That's what I know. <sighs> um, I see a whole lot of uh, comments coming in from gatherers, but I might, my might be behind. Okay. Uh, well, I am wondering. I can't remember if I if I know this answer or not, but uh, uh, we are uh, we are a part of a of a galaxy. But can galaxies be a part of galaxies spinning in rotation, gravitationally pulled to each other? Is that a supercluster? You're on the right track. Um, on the right track. A lot of it is actually new science, which is kind of cool. You're right about it being a group of galaxies. They're actually not gravitationally bound, which is super interesting. Huh. So they used to be referred to as the largest structures in the universe. They're not technically structures. They're actually sort of dissolving as the universe expands. Mm. Um, more accurately, they're like huge concentrations of lots of galaxies on this like massive scale that's almost impossible for us to comprehend. I cannot comprehend. I can't comprehend. I can't comprehend the solar system. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh. Um, so this is the cool part. Our, our own supercluster was just identified in 2014. It's called Laniakea. Um, and if you imagine, here's... here's Say it the again. Laniakea. It's a Hawaiian word. Laniakea. Yeah. Um, to imagine the scale, okay, so our solar system is around 13 billion miles from one end to the other. It's really big. There are 
200,000 of those in our galaxy, in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> our galaxy is one of 110,000 galaxies in Laniakea. Yep. No. And then just to make it even wilder, Laniakea is estimated to be one of around 100 million superclusters in the universe, of which 90 million are so far away that they're already beyond the horizon of what we can observe. Okay, that that hurt. That hurt my brain. <laughs> Gatherers, we're going to finish early tonight. I'm going to bed. Um, super fascinating. We were, uh, we were in a, Art and I were in a drop down, like fists out, screaming at each other. Not really, but like, you know, jokingly, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 fighting about whether or not the earth was moving towards the sun over time or away from the sun. <clears throat> Who's right? Uh, wow. Well, the sun is moving towards us slowly. I don't know that we're moving. I, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe some of the gatherers do. Uh, well, I will tell you, uh, I will tell you this. I was wrong, and my big brother was right. Um. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, <laughs> He loved that comment. Thank you for, for that. Um, okay, so what is the answer? Well, I thought, uh, I thought because the sun has just so much mass, as the Earth is rotating around the sun, right? It is the sun is pulling it, and over time, the mass of the sun is bringing that orbit continuously closer and closer, closer and closer. And someday we will be consumed by the sun. Uh, art. That part of that is right. Yeah. What does Art say? Art says that we are moving away from the sun slowly. That the that the that the sun's gravity is keeping the Earth close to the sun as it's rotating, but the Earth is very very slowly moving away and breaking breaking the bonds. Of the sun's gravity slowly over time. True. True. I don't know if it's breaking the bond, but the exit velocity of the Earth is just slightly stronger than, than the gravity. Gravitational pull of the sun. Interesting. Unfortunately, the sun is going to expand in another handful of billion years, and it's going to blow up into a red giant, and then we will be consumed. Yes. Oh, that's a tie. Then that is totally a tie. That is a hundred percent a tie. So I did not lose the argument to my big brother. That is feeling good. Gatherers um, out there, I apologize on behalf of all of us. We don't know what the hell we're talking about most of the time. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Um, <laughs> um, Karina, thanks so much for visiting. It's always uh, great to get to hang with you. I miss you. I can't wait till we're on the road playing music again. I mean, honestly, yeah, this was fun. Thanks, gatherers. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Um, my neighbor Tom has joined us. Hey, brother. Uh, I'm switching to the sunset cam, and uh, and let's go back to uh, let's go b back to some of the leftovers that we have here. Let's try this one. Now this was an interesting and a different kind of a weekend because because uh, I uh, I had you all requesting whatever you wanted originals or uh or tributes throughout throughout both nights and so we had a lot of great requests both for for originals and songs that i have played before that i that i love um and so i'm going to play one of those right now 
This is a song, uh, man, my, my favorite, it's funny, my favorite, my favorite, uh, my favorite guitarist, uh, and one, and, a, and one of, and just a, an incredibly influential writer, uh, 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 put this out, a band called Dire Straits, a fella called Mark Knopfler, uh, and, uh, I'm gonna try and do it justice. Now, usually I would have, uh, given myself a little bit of time to practice this uh i know i played it a couple times for you gatherers but uh um well we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it tonight and we're gonna see how it goes i hope i hope uh, i do mark justice here <laughs> Love struck Romeo, sings the streets of Saturday, laying everybody low with the love song that he made. Finding a streetlight, he steps out of the shade, says something like, "You and me, babe, how about it?" Juliet says, "Hey, it's Romeo." Nearly gave me a heart attack He's underneath the window She said Hey, lie, my boyfriend's back You shouldn't come around here Singing up to people like that Anyway What you gonna do about it? The Juliet The dice was loaded from the start And I bet Exploded into my heart And I forget, I forget The movie song When you're gonna realize It was just that the time was wrong Come up on different streets Both were streets of shame Both dirty, both me But the dream was still the same And I dream that dream for you And now that dream is real How can you look at me as if I was just another one of your days Cause you can fall for chains of silver Fall for chains of gold. You can fall for pretty strangers in the promises they hold. You promised me everything. You promised me freaking thin. Now you just say I won't. You know I used to have a scene with him, a Juliet. We made love, you used to cry. Said I love you like the stars above I love you till I die And there's a place for us You know the movie song When you're gonna realize It was just that the time was wrong Can't do the talking Like the talk on the TV I Can't do a love song Like the way it was meant to be I Can't do everything But I'll do anything for you I Can't do anything except be in love with you And all I do is miss you way we 
we used to be. All I do is keep the beat in bad company. All I do is kiss you through the bars of a brine. Juliet, I'll do the stars with you anytime. Juliet, when we made love, you used to cry. I said you love you like the stars above. I love you till I die, and there's a place for us. Songs. When you're gonna realize it was just that the time was wrong, Juliet. Uh, thank you, fellas. Thanks, fellas.
Art and Tom's hands are really cold right now. Um, <laughs> uh, tomorrow is a pretty special day, gatherers. Um, um, first of all and foremost, uh, uh, it's Wednesday, which uh, uh, that means uh, the first week of the new year is if we're we're halfway through it. Still, still swinging and still standing. Uh, okay, maybe more importantly than that, tomorrow happens to be gathering number three hundred, uh, and uh, so uh, it's gonna be. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what exactly we should do to mark this kind of momentous. Occasion, because uh, you know, I'm amazed every single. I'm amazed that we're at 2.99 tonight. Uh, it keeps, it keeps, it keeps blowing me away. You all hanging with me night after night, uh, and uh, but it is gonna be a special. It is a special anniversary. 300 days doing this together. What a thing. What a thing. Um. Uh, I, I hope to see you all here. <laughs> we'll definitely raise up some glasses together, that's for sure. up your glasses Let us drink to the winded airbags May it always flow steady wherever you roam May it turn when you're ready to carry you home May it keep you ahead of the night Raise up your glasses Let us drink this is night, he 
Cheers, gatherers. It was a it was a nice night. <laughs> uh, special thanks to Karina for coming and visiting us, learning us a thing or two about this universe we live in, uh, and uh, uh, I wanna uh, I wanna give a special thanks, and I'm gonna, sure I'm gonna be doing it again tomorrow night. But uh, the gathering series is, I know I'm the guy that's on the camera, but this only happens because a whole team of people works very hard uh, uh, to, to keep this, this train on the tracks, day in and day out. <laughs> and uh, uh, and I, love, I love my team. I've got a wonderful team of people from my bandies, to uh, to to the the people behind the scenes at Adam Ezra Group, uh, our managers and agents and people that are just helping run the business every single day, even when we're not on tour. And then there is Rally Sound and the incredible community uh, uh, around that nonprofit, uh, volunteers and uh, and uh, and community members. Uh, helping out in small ways and big ways every single day. And those things that you all do have an impact. They have a ripple effect out there. And, uh, and it, is, uh, it is the honor of my life to be a part of this community. Um, so I just want to say that for a second. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure we're going to be talking about it again tomorrow. Um, please stay safe. Keep on looking out for one another. I will see you 